Neurocognitive Disorders, Topic 2, Rating the Severity of Neurocognitive Disorders under DSM-5. Dr. Sarah Gleason, Department of Psychiatry and Human Behavior. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, identifies three main categories of neurocognitive disorders. These include delirium, mild neurocognitive disorder, and major neurocognitive disorder. In the previous module, we reviewed delirium, which is a temporary, time-limited state. Now we will discuss the difference between mild and major neurocognitive disorders, which are enduring uh, cognitive disorders. A mild neurocognitive disorder diagnosis indicates that the person is able to maintain independence despite the presence of impaired cognition. In a major neurocognitive disorder, we see the equivalence of the earlier DSM diagnosis of dementia, that is an impairment of multiple cognitive abilities sufficient to interfere with self-maintenance, work, or social relationships. The diagnosis of neurocognitive disorder is complicated by wide variation in presentation, and it exists on a continuum. Often it is difficult to distinguish whether an individual falls in the mild or the major neurocognitive disorder category. Moreover, there can be progression from mild to major during the course of an illness. Many persons who have declined cognitively may still function at a level comparable to that of an average person their own age. That further makes diagnosis uh, difficult. Clinicians must compare a person's present abilities with his or her own past abilities, usually by using retrospective accounts furnished by patients or their families and supported by simple scales of activities of daily living. In a mild neurocognitive disorder diagnosis, there is evidence of modest cognitive decline from a previous level of performance in one or more cognitive domains. That would include complex attention, executive function, learning and memory, language, perceptual motor, or social cognition. The cognitive deficits of a mild neurocognitive disorder do not interfere with capacity for independence in everyday activities. Although the individual may require greater effort, compensatory strategies, or accommodation to do the things they used to do. The cognitive deficits do not occur exclusively in the context of a delirium. And finally, the cognitive deficits are not better explained by another mental disorder, such as a major depressive disorder or schizophrenia. In major neurocognitive disorder, we see evidence of a significant cognitive decline from a previous level or performance in one or more cognitive domains. The cognitive deficits interfere with independence in everyday activities. Therefore, the individual would require at minimum assistance with complex instrumental activities of daily living, such as paying bills or managing medication. The cognitive deficits do not occur exclusively in the context of a delirium. And finally, the cognitive deficits are not better explained by another mental disorder. For further information, please refer to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, Chapter on Neurocognitive Disorders.